but does it make it fair for hardworking people who don't make a lot of money that will pay their rent? We got a dude crying about Section 8 housing being unfair to the working poor. Let's discuss. All right, y'all, welcome to the show. Now, today, I want to talk about this guy. This guy is a crier. I don't like criers, dude. This dude is a freaking baby, and I don't like it. Now, he's commenting on a video that I made where I was explaining to people, if you're going to be in, like, a rough neighborhood, if you're going to be in the hood, high crime area, your Section 8 tenants typically pose a lower level of risk than the other people in those neighborhoods uh, that are not on Section 8 voucher. Because when you have an incredibly low-income neighborhood, high crime, uh, high poverty level, uh, that's where you have like a higher concentration of like criminals, sex offenders, junkies, transients, felons, just unsavory people, right? And when the largest amount of unsavory people are concentrated in a particular neighborhood, you know, when you're a landlord, your job is to mitigate your risk as much as possible, and you want to put the lowest level of risk tenant in your property. And in neighborhoods like that, not paying the rent much higher than average, like if you were in like nicer, more affluent neighborhoods, right? So in those scenarios, uh, for landlords, you want to pay attention to your Section 8 tenants, people with the vouchers, because the biggest risk in those kind of neighborhoods is people not paying the rent, right? So I'm talking about that. And then, of course, this dude, a fucking crier, comes out here like, does it make it fair for hardworking people who don't make a lot of money that will pay their rent? All right. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. Who gives a fuck? Nobody cares. I don't give a shit what's fair for you, bro. That's not what we do here on Holton Wise TV. What we do here on Holton Wise TV, brother, is we teach landlords, we teach investors how to make money. This is a business, not a charity. My audience is people who want to learn how to invest money that they worked hard for and get the highest return on investment. We ain't out here saving the dolphins, motherfucker. I don't care about your plight. I don't care about what you think is fair. I assume you are a grown man. As a grown man, my advice to you would be to stop sitting down when you take a pee, stand up, grow a set of balls, and act like a fucking man, and don't cry on the internet about what is and is not fair. Secondly, brother, if you actually are hardworking, I don't think you would be living in the types of neighborhoods that I was talking about in that video because the types of neighborhoods I was talking about in that video, these are the lowest, cheapest neighborhoods in the entire USA. These are neighborhoods where the rent is so cheap that you can easily afford it working like 36 hours a week at McDonald's. And I'll tell you this, brother, you might think you work hard, but if you're putting in 36 hours a week at McDonald's making minimum wage, by definition, motherfucker, you ain't a hard worker. You're putting in the minimum amount of effort. So if you're going to be out there putting in the minimum amount of effort, crying about what is and is not fair, I do not give one single solitary fuck. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.